What's up, Wastelanders? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. It's me, Kiki B. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kiki B Plays Fallout 76. Today, I'm going to be showing you some interesting and maybe slightly silly ways to customize your boring, run-of-the-mill, bog-standard base game vending machines. This is great if you don't have any of the fancy atomic shop or season vending machines, or maybe you do have some, but you just want something a little different. This trick can even help you save a little space in a smaller build or just a small vendor area by allowing you to fit additional functional objects into the footprint of your vending machine. Before we jump into the magical world of vending machine merges though, if you love what I do here and you're interested in helping to support this little channel, consider joining our Patreon family. Head on over to patreon.com slash or click that link down in the description. Your support really means the world to me. And of course, join us over on Instagram at kikibeeplays. We would love to see you there. Now let's take a look at those vendors. Here's a look at some of the custom vendors you can create with this method. This is the standard vending machine that we all have from the get-go. You can use all kinds of objects to add color, shape, lights, and even extra functions to your vendors. You have a lot of options here. To make this magic happen, you first need to blow up your vending machine with the flamethrower trap. That's the key to the whole operation. Then you're going to overlap objects and line them up where you want them. Now, it's important to know that not all objects can be merged this way, and in fact, a lot can't. I've spent quite a bit of time going through camp items, but I haven't found every single combination by far, so this is more a general how-to than an extensive list. Experiment on your own, and let me know if you come up with any interesting combinations. I'm going to be doing some pressure plate merging here as well, because why not? So if you're not familiar with that, check out my merging tutorial. I've also added the link down in the description, so you can find it after you're done here. There are full details there on how to create this filled Nuka-Cola machine, and much more. So now we're going to slide that into place, and we're going to break out the flamethrower one more time on this because I'm just so extra. This time we're going to bust up the locker and add some light boxes that would otherwise be intersecting. Go ahead and wire all of those before repairing anything, and then fix the stuff you destroyed. Now we're going to add in some lovely neon letters, and the very top one doesn't want to place, so we'll place one below it and then snap the top to it. Stupid thing. Once that's done, go ahead and hook up a terminal to change the light boxes to whatever color you want, if you want to change them. And as a final little touch, I'm going to add on one of my favorite lamps, since it coordinates so nicely with the colors here. Next up, we're going to mix in an item that I love, but often just don't have the space for, the fortune teller. It's a little picky about the alignment here, so just be patient with it. And a tiny bit of the vendor will clip through the little dude in the box, but I don't think it's all that noticeable. Now I'm going to pull out my favorite locker stash box and use it to cover the left bit of the vendor because that metal grate that's on there makes it really difficult to place signs and things there. And it looks like trash, so there's that too. It can still look scrappy and beat up without having to look like actual garbage. That coordinates so well with the other lockers on the vendor. Now I want some lettering on there to make the whole thing pop a little more, and that's done. This next bit is more a general thing on getting certain objects to merge with the vendor. If you have stuff that snaps together, like the mainframe pieces or filing cabinets or whatever, you'll need to put one next to the vendor and then snap on the bits that will overlap it. This works from the left or from the right, but the game will not let you just place them the way you can with the locker or fortune teller or other stuff. Also, I think this high-tech vendor idea looks kind of cool. And here's another that needs to be snapped on to overlap with the vendor, this vault Tech Locker, which covers the graded part really nicely, and I like the way this combination of blue, yellow, and green really changes the overall feel of the vendor. Here's an interesting object you can merge in, the Nuka Quantum Lamp. I personally feel like it's a little too much when you combine it with the Nuka Cola machine as well, but you might like it, so I left it here. If 
If you want to give your vendor a kitcheny look, you can merge in a fridge, but you have to place the fridge first and destroy it, and then add the vendor in. Branching out from that slightly, if you have the Free States vendor, you can add a fridge over the destroyed vending machine, but it only seems to work with the white fridge, although I don't have the bloody fridge, so I can't try that one. I've added in a locker and a green mainframe piece, again by placing one next to the vendor and snapping this one in, and added some lettering at the end to create a cute little snacks vendor. That's it from me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something, and that I've inspired you to try out some custom vending machine combinations of your own. Don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed and you've turned on channel notifications so you don't miss out on the next absolutely amazing video. If you liked this one and you're interested in helping to support this channel, check out that Patreon link in the description. Of course, join us over on Instagram, at KikiBPlays. And with that, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.